Hi YouTubers, just want to help out as many people as I can. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, when you when you have a, a trouble cold, probably most of you will not even know unless if you run diagnostic scanner. Um, so I had a couple problems with the cl climate control. One, um, the passenger side, um, instead of like cold air, it would be blasting hot air and then you have to crank it all the way to the highest uh, lowest setting in order to um, kind of force the system to blow the cold air and vice versa so I was able to find the problem and most people go to the dealer buy the part and um, basically replace the part um, I was able just try it open and fix it and then I, I ran the diagnostic scanner and it showed me actually two things um, it says not even the passenger air mixture sensor was bad but also rear air mixture sensor was bad and basically to get to the back of it you have to um, take out the seat belt um, seat, seat belt um, I don't yeah just the seat belts and then just basically just pry the whole thing out uh, just be careful don't break that if you don't want to remove that button plastic piece um, just slightly lift it up and bring it out and uh, here I'm gonna let you look here on the back sorry it's kind of difficult I'm doing it in the garage um, here, here is where the um, rear um, air mix sensor is. This is the uh, this is the actual plug, and I just took it out to fix it. And then <clears throat> when you take it out, sorry, it's already been taken apart. Uh, I'm gonna show you um, the actual sensor, the air mixture sensor. All you have to do, so um, this thing, you have to remove the, that piece right here. Open this up, be careful, don't break the small plastic tabs. And here, here where the problem is, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the problem was that um, this little pins right here they they had a grease all over it like it was basically packed up and here I'm gonna show you that little piece right there on the bottom as well um, it's a lubricant and I understand you have to have a little bit of lubricant so it doesn't like um, grind itself but you know the car has got like almost 200,000 miles and if I can just clean that off and um, this also had a bunch of lubricant all over it so I, I slightly wipe it all off it, all the excessive and it's still got a little bit of lubricant left on it so it'll be fine for another you know who knows how long but it'll be fine um, that's it so basically it, when when this thing rotates it um, it gets the signal and it it basically lets the uh, con um, computer know what position it is and um, it was not able to um, send the signal and therefore was the air code so don't replace this part just open it up clean it and put it back and it'll be good to go